not like this one bit. Trepidation can be warranted when it comes to going to a metal festival. If, like me, you can't convince any of your friends who either don't like heavy metal or don't see the merits in traipsing out into the middle of the countryside, camping in a muddy field, drinking shitty beer, and dealing with the smell of cow shit or the potential of being run over by a fucking tank just to see a few bands. But, that said, your fears are somewhat unfounded as we shall now explore. I'll start off with a point that I have made before, and that is that a metal festival is effectively just going and camping with 10,000 of your best mates that you just don't happen to have met yet. Everyone is already your friends at a festival, so I wouldn't be worried at first about not making friends, not having anyone to talk to, because you'll quickly find that that problem solves itself provided you're open-minded to the whole idea. Which is that people at metal festivals are the friendliest cunts you're gonna meet. You're pretty much just hanging out with mates that you just haven't seen for the entire period of your life until the point that you just run into them now. Um, so it's almost like running into old mates that you just haven't seen in a long time and you have to sort of catch up with them and learn every single thing about them. But friendly as fuck and you're gonna make a lot of friends. One thing I've noticed about multi-day metal festivals is I never leave them without more friends than I arrived at the festival with. Even if I arrive on my own knowing absolutely fucking no one, I will leave with at least one or two new friends. Now it's real easy to make friends at a multi-day festival because everyone is so open and friendly. First multi-day festival I went to was Ankrok in Finland, which is just outside of Helsinki, it's about 20 minutes on the train. I was doing it the stupid way because I didn't know how to festival in 2009, and I got the fucking train from Helsinki to Corso every fucking day. It was stupid as fuck, but that's another story for another time. Anyway, I was riding around to see one of the bands that I was really keen to see, which was uh, Enciferum, I believe. First time I'd ever seen them, seeing them in their native country. Standing around in the crowd, not speaking a word of Finnish. And then I hear, wafting on the wind, some Americans looking for beer. And lo and behold, with my sixth sense, I already knew where the fuck to get some beer. So there was my inn. I turned around, was like, hey guys, I know where you can get some fucking beer. And just like that, the sweet amber gold started a great friendship. We managed to uh, hang out for the whole rest of the festival, having the chats, having some good times, and then they fucked off to Sweden or something later. Now the unrelenting torrent of friendship doesn't start at the physical festival ground. It starts well beforehand. It can start in the fucking airport flying from your hometown, for all you fucking know. It starts in the hostel. A good example of this, uh, me and two mates, going to Brutal Assault in Czech Republic, staying in a hostel in Prague, made friends with a dude who wasn't even fucking going to Brutal Assault, he just really liked the idea of coming to a festival, so he went out and bought a tent the next morning and then came with us on the train. <clears throat> First friend we picked up on that festival little adventure. When we bought our tickets for the train, the system of selling train tickets in Czech Republic seems to be based on how many tickets can we sell not actually how many people can we physically fit on the train, because that thing was fucking packed. Anyway, on the train, we see some dude from the hostel the night before. We didn't even know he was coming to the festival either, and he starts frantically waving at us, so two friends picked up in the space of about eight hours. So, you know, not doing too great there. But in the back end of the train, where we were crammed down next to the toilet, sitting on the floor, because this thing was literally packed. People sitting in the aisle, we didn't even get our ticket checked because the fucking guy on the train who checks the tickets couldn't physically get down to us. End up chatting to these two brothers who were sitting next to us. Turns out they were from Denmark, which was, you know, pretty cool. They didn't speak Czech or anything and we were the only English speakers in the train there, so started chatting to us. Turns out they're a band. Start playing us some of their music, which was pretty fucking sick, so you should totally check out Billy Boy and Poison, by the way. And yeah, it turned out that their whole fucking band was there. So by the end of the train ride, our crew had gone from me, two mates, and random dude from the hostel, to me, two mates, two random dudes from the hostel, and an entire fucking Danish death metal band. So we then spent the rest of that festival hanging out, drinking beers, and 
almost getting run over by military equipment, which was fun. Even the quest to a festival, irregardless of people you meet in bars and hostels and that sort of thing, even that quest to the festival can yield high friendship gains. On my way to my first Varken, I was completely on my own. I had one acquaintance who I knew that was going to Varken and I was going to maybe try and find. So I was sort of a bit fucked in relation to travelling on my own. So trying to get to Varken, I'm in fucking Cologne or somewhere like that. And I get on the train and walking down, can't find anywhere to fucking sit. Classic Deutsche Bahn train, it's fucking overbooked or a bunch of people who missed their previous train because it had been made out of wood or something got on. Anyway, train was fucking packed, no fucking seats. End up, again, in the compartment next to the toilet and lo and behold, a bunch of people in black t-shirts and battle vests. Sure enough, hey guys, you going to Varken? Yes, we're going to Varken. Alright, cool, I'm hanging with you. Not a problem there. Turns out these cool cats are from Chile. They've made this fucking pilgrimage from the other side of the fucking world just to come to Varken, which is sick in of itself. Get talking with these guys and start having a good time, getting loud, getting rowdy. They pull out this mysterious bottle of Chilean liquor, which kicked like a fucking horse and tasted like a dream. But that aside, we, we were having a fucking little, little mini Varken on the bus, listening to tunes on our phones, drinking, singing, having some laughs teaching each other bits of language, all that sort of stuff. And the conductor who checked our tickets when we got on the train sort of comes up to us, like, oh no, this friendship has gotten too intense for Deutsche Bahn to handle. We're gonna be forcibly removed from the train at the next station. Incorrect. Clearly someone had complained about the noise because we were being quite loud. But instead of being removed from the train, we actually got upgraded to the first class cabin which had nobody in it. So we went from squatting on the floor next to the toilets to riding first class from Cologne to Hamburg just for being mates. Now those hip cats had some plans in Hamburg, they were meeting someone or something, so that's sort of where our little journey ended. We did run into each other a few more times, have some drinks and some good times, so that was sick. But it's not the most beautiful part of my first venture to Wacken, to the Holy Land of the Metal Festival. As I said before, I was meeting an acquaintance, a friend of a friend who just happened to be going to the festival. I figured, fuck it, it's better to go with someone than no one. So, you know, he gave me some half assed directions as to where he was camping, blah blah blah. Traipsing through, I had my wristband checked, paid for my extra day camp, and traipsing up the hill, following the very fucking half assed directions that I was given of, at the top of the hill next to a red tent. Anyway. Traipsing up the hill, battle jacket, Copenhagen t-shirt. Don't know where the fuck I'm going, don't know anyone, don't know fucking what's going on, pretty much. Then, from afar, I hear... Oi, are you Danish? Come join us! This rather aggressive and abrupt greeting came from a large bearded man in a pink bathrobe and a red cowboy hat that would soon become one of my dearest friends. It was the start of a beautiful friendship and the forging of one of the strongest, well-knitted groups of festival-going friends to ever roam the lands. I then spent the next several days in the company of this eclectic group of people from all over the world who had also conveniently assimilated the person I was supposed to meet as well, which was very helpful. But even with the friends you meet on the way to the festival, on arriving at the festival, the people you camp next to, you are still going to be meeting more people. Just based off not being a cunt, effectively. For example, we're at the supermarket, and as you do at Varken, we're having a bidding war with the children outside as to who is going to take our recently purchased groceries down to the campsite for us. By groceries, I of course mean beer. In a bidding war with these Austrian dudes, and as a result, we sort of had a bit of a rivalry going with them on the way back down to camp about whose kid was providing the best service, blah, blah, blah. And this led rise to me becoming friends with a guy who I only know as Austrian guy. We made an effort not to learn each other's names because we knew the beauty of the festival friendship. This was a beautiful friendship that saw me riding this man like a pony and saw us getting into walls of death 
in the fucking footpath of the campsite. This friendship was the perfect example of how you can literally just start talking to anyone and you are going to have a great time. You are going to find friends everywhere. Festivals have to be the most accepting, open and personable places that you could ever possibly hope to go. The point I'm trying to make is that even if you go to a festival on your own, you're not going to leave on your own. You're going to leave with new friends and new adventures that you've had with those friends. They're going to last a fucking lifetime. Basically what I'm saying is that even if you're trepidatious about going to a festival for the first time, fucking do it. All your friends that don't want to go with you or are too scared to go with you, they're the ones that are missing out. Don't rob yourself of the experience, man. Fucking go for it. So that was a video. I wasn't drunk enough to have made it entertaining. Um, sorry about that. Uh, if you did like it though, there's a button to express that emotion in a digital format, so click that. Or you could subscribe, which would also be a fun thing to do, I hear. Um, but failing that, why not use your powers to type to leave a hurtful comment down below in the comments section? Or, if that really doesn't tickle your fancy, you could suggest something for me to talk about. Because I've got lots of ideas for videos, but I'd probably like to talk about something that doesn't involve goblins. <laughs>